Well, there will not be any waiting to see what I got today. What a buy. Got gold backs, gold, and silver rounds. I also did get a 10 ounce silver bar and a 2.5 gram gold bar. However, those were not for me, so those will not be shown in the video. But just know those were included in the purchase. But right here before me, we have six one gram Canadian maples. So that's six grams of gold. We have 13 of these Morgan rounds. Each of them are one ounce of silver. We have 48 gold backs. 48. You guys can do the math if you want, but uh, that's 48 out of 1,000. So 48 thousandths of a trance. I'll just start going down. Here's a tone, 2014. This one is from 1981, I believe. It's a silver trade unit from the US Assay Office. 81. Can't remember if I said that or not. Here I have the obverse and reverse of a beautiful toned buffalo round. These are both vintage buffaloes. Here we've got some beautiful Liberty A Mark silver rounds. 86, 86, and 85. I'll show the Oh, there's, oh. A mark, 999 fine. Here we've got a pretty cool, uh, it's a $10 gaming token. 999 fine silver. So what I believe it is, is actually, this whole thing is silver, and then it's coated in a thick layer of brass or something. So it is a one ounce round. We've got a painted Walking Liberty. A lot of the paint, obviously, as you can see, has been chipped off, which stinks. However, it's not the worst. And so that's an ASC, obviously, and another ASC. Then going back up here, I did miss a one half ounce round. 10 year anniversary of Gold Co. Let me just check the year on this real quick. 2016, and then we have a 1994, ooh, 1994 ASC, and another 86 A mark silver round. I'll show you guys the reverse of one of these gold backs. It has no design, but a design from the obverse kind of um, mirrors on the other side. Beautiful these are. These normally go for in between five and six dollars a piece. Normally closer to six. So again, you guys can just do the math on what this would have cost me. Um, I'm not gonna be giving an exact price, but and then these Morgan rounds here. I think these ones are beautiful. I think it actually, I think it would have looked better with a different coin design. I just don't think the Morgan would work, it works that well for this. However, I think it almost looks like a poker chip to me with that thick reeded edge. Um, I don't know, personally, I think something like maybe a Merc or a uh, Walking Liberty design could have looked a lot better but then again that's just me and we've got this these one gram maples Let's see if you'll focus actually you know what i have a smarter idea i will put it under the scope if it will decide to focus There you can see Canada 
four nine is fine. Fine one gram pure. So that's really it for this video. Obviously, today is a Wednesday, so this will start yet another giveaway. Um, this one will probably be a week and two days, uh, and will be posted with this Friday's, or will be given away with this Friday's giveaway, um, as I probably will not have another Wednesday video. But let's take some uh, coins out of the giveaways. I'll take three for today. A buffalo nickel, 1929. Let's see if there's a mint mark. There is not. Nineteen eighteen Mercury dime. I don't see a mint mark. Let me check under the scope. Uh, kind of looks like a D, but it's pr probably too close. So. Looks like 1918, no mint mark, so Philadelphia. And a pretty toned foreign. There you can kind of see the blues and pinks showing through. Really nice, crisp. <laughs> you can still see the shimmering of the gold on this. So, all you guys have to do to enter into this is comment gold back. You guys just have to make a comment, and the keyword is goldback. Spelled G-O-L-D-B-A-C-K. If you guys have a, vi have a comment with that in it, you will be entered to win these three coins. Thank you guys all for watching this exciting mail call. See you guys all in the next one.